What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about some huge buffs from my boy Houndstone. Uh, before I get into anything going on on the screen, as you can see, you know, a lot of new viewers might be confused or wondering what all of this new stuff is. So if you're new to my channel, first of all, shout out to you. Welcome. You know, subscribe to the channel if this type of thing interests you. Sorry if I misled you with the, you know, the thumbnail and the title. But, um, you know, stay tuned. Stay, uh, stick around. It'll be cool. Um, if you're new, shout out to you again. Uh, what I'm trying to say is they'll pause the video and read the description down below. There is a very uh, thorough explanation of a lot of the key points of this ROM hack and how it's balanced and my approach and, and philosophy. There's also videos. Um, link down below that you can watch after this one and not only other change videos but also philosophy like basically background information videos that you can watch if you'd rather uh, get more information that way as opposed to reading the bullet point list but the bullet point is like the key points so you can definitely just get gather most of it from that um so yeah i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna waste too much time uh about the intro stuff i want to get straight into it so houndstone uh ghost rock very very fitting only other type combo that really fits him is, is ghost uh ground for dual type but ghost ground already exists on golurk and there is no other ghost rock type in uh scarlet and violet so it's perfect you know there's one of each but one ghost ground one ghost rock and scarlet and violet so it ends up working out perfectly um and obviously ghost rock i would say fits much more than ghost ground ground like could be but i just don't i don't know why you would when rock is right there like I guess both kind of fit, but, but he's got the rock. He's got the whole last tombstone on his head. He's made of bones. So definitely fits really well in that regard. And then Grievert is still pure ghost, of course, because he doesn't have the, the tombstone yet. Um, he also has flash fire for flavor because of the little candle. I think it's kind of cute. And the whole line has fur coat and sand rush. So sand rush is even better now on a ghost rock, of course, because you get the spit boost in sand and you have really, really good bulk. But man, I cannot understate how fat this guy is with fur coat he is swallowing you might be thinking ghost rock is ass defensively he has so many weaknesses but that's not first of all that's not how it works in game maybe in competitive but even then i mean it's not really in the world but in game you can always first of all weaknesses are much more uh spaced out right because um ai it's ai teams right and they have like monotype teams whatever so their moves are not completely spread out their moves are not all on one team you know, for example, there's not going to be a water type move on every team. There's not going to be a ground type move on every team on every boss fight. So that's already enough of a reason to not really care as much about weaknesses. But also, it's very easy to exploit and bait the AI into using certain moves. Um, and you can also kill the Pokemon that you're, you know, a strong against you. Whatever. There's tons and tons and tons of ways of playing around weaknesses in game. Um, for the player, at least. It's very, very easy. So, yeah. Fur Coat, though. Man, 102, 102. If you're wondering why I got these random little minus 1, plus 2, minus 1, whatever. Um... All that shit is just because I like, sometimes I like making the numbers look nice. Um, and in this case, it was pretty close to having even 102 all across the board. Uh, I give 102 HP because he is a pretty big guy. Um, I think he's like, what, like six foot? Yeah, six, seven. That's all, it's a big dog, man. Obviously, he's very, very thin because he's all bones underneath the uh, fur. Speaking of fur, yes, I did swap out fur coat, fluffy for fur coat. Number one, I wanted him to actually resist fire um, because he should resist fire, in my opinion. But number two, um, and that's it. I just wanted to resist fire. Also, like, fur coat fits better to me. Like, much better. Like, yeah, Fluffy kind of fits, but... Like, if, if Houndstone didn't have either of those abilities, and you asked me to give him, like, a defensive ability, I'd be like, oh, yeah, give him fur coat. You know, I wouldn't think of Fluffy. Um, and that's just, like, a balancing choice, but I don't know. It, fur coat definitely fits him a lot better, and is, uh, obviously lets him have that resistance. Also, it works on all moves, not just... All physical moves, not just uh, only contact moves, so that's incredible as well. Um, yeah, you're absolutely stewed. 102, 102 with fur coat. I mean, this he's so fat incredibly bulky it definitely makes up for the you know weaknesses or whatever that you have as a ghost rock and then of course ghost rock is very good offensively and you have two great offensive abilities in sand rush and tough claws so i chose tough claws because i mean look look at him dude he's got like these big ass bone claws you know so that's super cool um and then i also like to give pokemon especially the ones like this it's, it's i try I, I give them all abilities that number one make sense number two don't overlap with other pokemon of the same typing and number three um, are all worth using over each other. So oftentimes that'll end up being, you know, a defensive plus um, a offensive plus a speed ability. Oftentimes that will be the combo of three, but not always. I mean, tons of even if you go back on other videos, like there's tons of Pokemon who have three defensive slash utility abilities. They just all have uses over each other. They don't overlap or they're not redundant over one another, right? In this case, though, yes, you have one raw damage boosting ability with Tough Claws, which boosts tons of moves and makes your 102 base attack, which is already pretty damn good incredible right 102 base attack with, with tough claws is like fucking what is it, like 190 base attack probably can i do math in my head 75 percent it's probably like 180 ish base attack if my math and my mental math is checking out but let's uh let's let's check let's fact check myself real quick so you're hitting 454 oh sorry 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm 30% boost. Yeah, yeah. So, um, 303 times 1.3 is 393 attack. Yeah, which is... It's definitely not. 393. 394. Let's just call it 394. I know for a fact that is like base 130 with a plus nature. Like, that's equivalent to like if you were adamant with base 135 attack, right? With a neutral attack nature on your your guy. Yeah, 394. So, I, look, I know my fucking num numbers, man. Um, but, of course, if we pretend that they're neutral nature, you're hitting like, I think it's like 180, right? Oh, no, I horribly overestimated it. It's because I was thinking of a 1.5 boost. That's why I said I, I was thinking 1.5. 1.3 is going to be lower, but it's still obviously very strong. What is it, 150? Yeah, like 147. God, I can't do typing right now. 147. 147 base attack, right? There you go. So he gets an incredible attack boost um, with Prim Tough Claws. And then, of course, Sand Rush. Very, very good. 68 base speed alone is enough. Oh, I didn't cover the fucking last respects, because I know some competitively brained people are going to be like, where's my last respects? Where's my last respects? Honestly, I might just slap it on just for the sake of casual players getting to use it, I guess. But this game, again, if you read the description, is balanced around Team Lock and Lock, So you're never, you should never, ever be clicking last respects, literally ever. Um, AI will be using it. There's actually a whole gimmick fight with Rhyme uh, planned where she's going to have last respects and necromancy, which is revival blessing. So that'll be really cool as a double battle. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could just throw it on them uh, at fucking 100 just for the player. Just, just because I may as well. Um, probably should have done that at the beginning of the video because now I'm gonna get a bunch of comments. Hey man, maybe it's engagement. Whatever. Let's let's pretend it's a happy accident. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So casual players, there you go, man. You can sack your whole ass team and click score flash respects or so or sand rush flash respects, and there you go, man. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, it's not really a factor for how the game's intended to be played, at least. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about it because you guys already know it's good. Um, yeah, man, I mean, he's got tons of Tough Claws boosted moves. Uh, in terms of stab early on, you've got, like, well, obviously you have stuff like Shadow Sneak with priority, and you've got this exclusive Bone Rush, which is now Rock-type, because Marowak isn't in the game. Um, so Mandibuzz, Lucario, and Houndstone get this priority Rock uh, Bone Rush. So with Loaded Dice, 100 base power. Without Loaded Dice, 50 base power. Uh, when it comes to multi-hit moves or any move like this, you should always be planning as if you're getting the worst rolls possible. So with loaded dice, that's a hundred, that's four hits, and then without it, it's two hits. So it's basically almost like Accelerock that hits twice, you know, which is still good. You know, you know, you can run uh, Bone Rush raw um, because you know, it's just a good thing to have. Um, it also, of course, Shadow Sneak is good too, 45, and you even got Befuddle and Creeping Strike for Fairy and um, Bug type uh, Shadow Sneak versions. So those are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just having that bone rush is pretty cool. Um, again, 100 base power with loaded dice, so very strong. Uh, multi hits, all that fun. I mean, fun stuff. It's not tough claws boosted though, so uh, I mean, it's great with fur coat. So that's the main thing you'd be using it with is, is fur coat um, because you're just so fat. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, Sediment heals you by two thirds HP in the sand. They've also got slack off as a Grievert, so you've got two heal moves where you can stall a little bit extra uh, turns. You have 10 PP heals instead of five. And then of course, yeah, in the sand, you got that bulky ass Sediment. Not to mention again, that's Bedef boost in sand. He's so fat. Like, I, uh, this guy's so cool, man. I really do like the buffs here. They're like perfect changes to me, um, flavor wise and in terms of mechanics, like the three abilities fitting with one another and being useful it's really really good um tons of great coverage moves as you can see all of these are mostly higher base power and better accuracy than they are in vanilla so shit like play rough and wild charges and headbutt all these moves are kind of shitty in vanilla but they're much much better now so he's got tons of reliable you know solid base power coverage moves that he can switch between and then of course you've got tons of tough claws boosted stuff all of them are underlined as you can see um jagged edge and shadow claw 80 base power 50 percent crit rate so those are uh what is it 103 can i do math 80 times 1.3 104, uh, I was one point off, yeah, 104 base power uh, moves with Jagged Edge and Shadow Claw. I could probably put Jagged Edge a bit earlier. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll walk, move these moves around a tiny bit. But, um, yeah, uh, Poltergeist is consistent, 100 base power, 100 accuracy, very good with Fur Code and Sand Rush. Obviously, it's not Tough Claws boosted, though, so if you're running Tough Claws, you'd rather have Shadow Claw. Um, Howl gives you plus two attack and special attack, so you can use that in sand or with, you know, probably just with sand or like a bulky or setup set. Although setup in general is hopefully not going to be that good, but I mean, it'll still be really good, but if you learn, move your learner, so <laughs> time will tell. Um, jaw lock is sick. That traps the opponent and deals the residual damage. It also traps you in with the opponent, though, so be mindful of that. However, stuff like slack off jaw lock with fur coat is great. You know, it helps you 1v1 things much better because you get that residual damage each turn with jaw lock now. That's changed. Um, so that's that's super cool um and it's also stab and tough cause boosted on houndstone as well 
and it's 85 base power so it's a really good move overall definitely with tankier sets specifically i would, I would run that with personally it's pretty cool um I just realized that actually, what's the point of putting Jagged Edge so late if you got Jawlock 85? Yeah, because it's not like you're running Scope Lens on this guy, so I'll probably put Jagged Edge at, uh... I don't know, I'll figure it out. Like, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. I'll do it after the video, I don't want to waste too much time talking about it here, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it's really, honestly, it. I mean, you got uh, Tough Claws of Strength and Phantom Force are recoil moves now. They are Ghost and uh, Rock-type Double Edge. And then you've got Rock Wrecker and Shadow Force, which are physical Draco Meteor variants, Rock and ghost so incredibly strong 140 base power you know shadow force tough claws boosted super super strong of course uh it drops her attack after but you know that's the down that's the, down, that's the uh, drawback you know but it's still very good to kill something and switch out or you can run wider or eject pack or whatever you want to do um head smash very very strong but also severe recoil it's 140 base power 100 percent accurate though and it deals a uh, 50 percent recoil and drops your defenses so high drawback but of course incredibly strong especially with like sand rush sets or tough claws just to blow something up um uh, tons of great utilities so not only do you have those heal moves you got stuff like disable you've got soul absorb soul absorb is nightshade but it, it gives you um soul absorb is nightshade but it gives you oh, i should probably move these around ah uh, whatever whatever soul absorb is nightshade but it gives you um uh, the all the hp you got back so all the hp you dealt back 100 percent. so that's a really nice move with fur coat sets obviously you have high base hp but it's still a good move um yeah i'll figure out the moves after the video man um I don't know what else. I mean, Befriend, Charm, those are all great debuffing moves. Mystical Fire uh, drops attack and special attack by minus one, guaranteed. And then Befriend and Charm do minus two. Uh, so Befriend being special Charm. Again, tons of great coverage. I mean, this guy's got super versatile things. He can be used purely, he can use straight up defensively, bulky offense, fast offense, you know, uh, DPS, whatever you need him to do for that boss fight. He can switch around his abilities and do the, do the job. And he's got strong priority, shadow sneak, tough claws, all this fun stuff. So yeah, very, very fun mon. Um, very fitting changes overall. Pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, just very good overall. I mean, I really can't understand how fat 102, 102, 102 is with for coat for the record. Like I really, I could go, I mean, I would do the math, but like, it's not going to be a base stat. It's going to be well over 255, which is the cap, you know? So like, yeah, he hit 606 or whatever the fuck def uh, defense without a plus defense nature, but like, that's not a level, level 100. It's not that useful information. Just know it's super fucking strong. Uh, I mean, tanky. Oh, it is also very strong with tough claws, but yeah. Um, that's about it. Thank you for listening. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I, I don't think I did. Um, everything else you can always check out in the description down below and uh, in the Google Sheet. So yeah, shout out to you if you made it to the end. Let me know if you did. I'd appreciate it.